Hello, my name is Renuka and today we will make some easy peasy watercolor cards. Uh, so I will show you how the easiest way to use your watercolors. Here I am using uh, very store bought like Michael's watercolors. These are not the professional one. As well as the paper is also not the professional paper. It's just a Canson paper. Uh, you can use any paper you have and the watercolors you can use from the school supplies also here i'm using little bit of uh, pearlescent watercolor kind of little bit shimmer in them but uh, go ahead and use whatever you have in your mind i'm just giving you a idea that how you can use your watercolors so here i'm using that drop uh, thing to make kind of hard shape and uh, these are the last minute valentine day cards so you can grab whatever supplies you have at home and just try it uh, I'm using the Preston watercolor brush here which is the like breaker brush 12 size 12 brush but let me remind you again you can use whatever you have and you can get the same achievable effect and watch the full video cause in the end part I will show you how to enhance your cards uh, watercolor cards and make them little bit more professional look and this is the way I made the inverted hearts and then I can flip that card so I'm making the, the heart kind of flower bunch and then I'm using the water swash here so basic idea of uh, making this video is using less supplies and in the last I will show you how you can enhance your card adding more little bit here and there uh, Whenever you make the watercolor card, if you are not making one, I will suggest you go ahead and make bunch of it like I am doing. I use here the blue painter tape to put them on a hard board. Uh, you can use the washi tape also, painter's tape or washi tape or masking tape, any tape will do. What that do is that your card don't buckle up when you use lots of water on it. Another thing here is uh, when you work with the several cards at the same time then you will get an opportunity to work uh, fast because watercolors needs little bit you know time to dry sometimes we do wet on wet techniques means when the watercolor is wet you are adding more color in them sometimes I do dry wet technique dry on wet technique so um, each technique depends that how uh, much time it needed but using the several panels at the same time will help you to kind of you know uh, work around and you can work on another card without wasting your time like those droplets heart in the first row and middle one i can't uh, wait that much when it goes dry but if you want to make only one card choose any card you want to make i'm just showing this here a little bit of methods and little bit of ideas that how you can make watercolor cards uh, i'm using here heart shape uh, but you can use these card not only for the valentine you can use it for like any other occasion also like the birthdays and also just make sure that then you use less hearts and you can use flowers or any other shape uh, you like uh, most of the times um, when i sat down to do the um, greetings i try to make more because already supply is out so why should not we use them and you know make more out of your time also so you can see that i'm going backward and forward in uh, these things and here i'm using the water droplet thing to make uh, the slanting line on the two hearts so I use the same color, one I make the darker one, I make just add a little bit darker shade in that pink and red. Uh, you can give these kind of cards on weddings and anniversaries also. So there are lots of options or say that how much someone is important in your life or say thank you also. So uh, most of the times I love this technique of splattering the uh, colors, different colors on the background of it because that gonna cover a uh, pretty much area as well as that will create an interest in your card so you can use toothbrush and sprinkle the colors on it here i am tapping the one brush on another to create that splatter effect you can use your hand you can use acrylic block you can use your ruler scale whatever you have in your hand you can use that and the amount of water you put in a brush the bigger will the splatter now for this particular card um, 
like already it's dried so i can make those small heart shapes and turn them into the flowers so it's kind of a bunch of a flower a bunch of heart shaped flower i can say and then i'm using this very simple trick to make like adding the green and you can see that what i'm using here right now is not a professional color it just a store bought like school supplies it's my kids water watercolor box i am using it just want to show you that you will get the same kind of effect without like very fancy watercolor or you know professional or high quality colors so here i am just now making those hearts more prominent by adding the outline to them if you are very scared uh, to use thin brush or if you don't have thin brush for particular this one you can use your black liner pen everyone has the ball pen at home they can use that you can use red uh, just grab what you are and just experiment and uh, make sure that <laughs> you will have fun while doing the process and card will turn out very nice then i thought that this bush needs something more so i decided to add more fonts in that uh, so uh, like if you don't have this liner pen this thin liner pen you can use your pen uh, if you have like green or black or any color you can use that and then i use this brush so this is not that uh, you can use a stencil brush if you have but if you don't have a stencil brush particularly for this effect uh, this is my very old brush and now my kid use it and we mostly use for the rough kind of works outside the like you know outside the patio or something like that so that brush bristles got very separated and hard uh, you can use the tooth brush small tooth brush or a corner of the tooth brush for the same technique also and uh, just find what you have i never throw a brush uh, whether it's my kids or mine because that brush when they destroyed the bristle bristle shape uh, lines they still you can work them all around the year for different kind of purpose like here i'm using and then i'm just adding here a lines uh first we draw the light pinkish purple color hearts and then i'm adding the dark purple color lines to them now here also you can use your sharpie or pen or uh, whatever you want to add you can create the same effect with the sketch pens also you can draw the heart shape with the sketch pens add a little bit of water so that color will spread and then you can put it in dry and then you can use the same sketch pen to you know make those lines now these two hearts and then this is the another technique that if you like to want this kind of a uh, sparkle effect you can use the earbud to enhance your heart shape and you can write inside anything but if you don't want to do like i don't like that much so i just mix those things little bit to get those heart like you know they are more prominent and more, more 3d looking by adding little bit of uh, color around them then i'm using the same brush and using kind of stapling method here you can use the same pot and you can use the small uh, pencil or pen tip or any fork also to just make this kind of scrubbing effect and use the whatever color you want here i'm planning to use the purples and blues and then i decided to write the love here so if you don't have any stamp or sticker to put your sentiment there use your brush and write down there or use your pencil and then you know write on that if you're not more comfortable directly with the pen pencil or brush or you can use the sharpie or sketch pens or any markers you have in your stash and then let it dry for some time uh, i already told you this these are the watercolors it took time so now look at this after drying uh, it looks so beautiful and for particularly up to now i didn't use any heat gun or a hard gun and i didn't put them overnight also i'm just working with them and you will get the same effect with that going back and forth in the card and adding more color where you need it sometimes you feel that like there is empty space so you can add more color sometimes you may feel that the color is pretty light you want more darker in shade so you can do that and then i'm kind of uh, writing here now though my handwriting is not very pretty or something like that but i just want to give you an example that you can do that also now we will enhance all these cards by just adding more like here i have the smile sentiment from the 
hero arts with the matching dies and i decided to add that but if your handwriting is good you don't need these like you can directly write on that with a marker or the pen whatever you have or you can bought the store bought stickers which is saying the nice sentiments uh, you can get that also or you can print out from your printer and then you cut up them apart and then you can uh, stick them on the card so layering your card is the another technique like just you have to i'm just straightening all this edges of the card and then uh, you can add any glue any glue will work and then i'm just layering and i'm choosing the same colors which already have in a card so i had layered it with the two purple shades here darker and smaller and then i gonna make the big card out of it so i have this sheet which is like a uh, letter size sheet <coughs> then i want to make this card is bigger than a2 and smaller than a5 so I want to create my own card base and then I will cut the excess. Now it's a very simple trick. You can take a card sheet, fold it in a half and put it on there and just cut the excess. No rocket science. Now how this panel come out, I don't like it much. But I don't want to waste that wash which is already we are giving and that wash is beautiful. So here I'm using the another technique. Now for this technique you need a really nice masking tape or a painter's tape which will not peel your paper. You can use the washi tape also uh, and if you thought that your paper gonna pill uh, the tape like then what you can do you can uh, before putting your uh, tape on the paper you can just put on your cloth so it will reduce little bit of stickiness of that and then you can do the full wash here so here I'm just adding the more colors first of all I thought I will add some of the colors on the bottom and then it will go up like the rainbow or something and then I change my plan and I use the pink orange and <coughs> reddish color uh, to it and I'm using here flat brush but you can use whatever you have in your hand uh, just it's a matter of time and for particular this card it goes too watery that I need heat gun but uh, remember that I don't use any heat gun or heating tool drying tool uh, for all the other backgrounds <coughs> now this washi tape you can use more time so I'm just peeling it and putting on the next uh, thing so that I can use all the distressing or anything else to creating the pattern I already create this kind of patterns many times on my youtube channel <coughs> but just I, I'm saying that you can use it multiple times and here I want to show you that 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 paper still rip some of the paper still rip there so I decided to add a little bit of more same color to it so that uh, you know <clears throat> it will look nice and then I decided to put it on the uh, pink color card stop now for particularly this one I added lots of sentiments together now if you don't have this tool like I'm using here misty and an another stamps but if you don't have this tool you want to really make a DIY you can write a nice message you can use the ruler scale to draw the lines and write lots of things like you are the my person love you what would I do without you and then um, in the small font and then you can see that you will get a beautiful background there I just put that aside to you know little bit of drying so that I can use that other, other <laughs> next card and then I'm just uh, putting the smile and the other sentiment on this card uh, I used to mix uh, two inks here, distress inks, uh, distress oxide and the black ink. Uh, so you can do that also, you can put your sentiment in two colors also. And then I'm kind of putting that cards on this. So I just cut out the uh, uh, letter side sheet in two parts and this card is just simple and I just make it. I don't layer it for this card but you can if you want. So this is the smaller size card, this is the A2 size card. And then I add this 3D effect like you can use no drops and using your new drops as well as the 3D dots or um, you can use anything of it. Then if you want to more enhance your card this is the another trick you can do. I use here an embossing folder and then I'm just using my kids crayon to get this emboss area more prominent on it. If you don't have this embossing folder or if you want to do just make lines by folding your card and the raised card will give you a lines and then you can use another your 
Kate's crayons to do that. Here again, I'm trying to layering the things using the same colors which already are inside the card so that my card is more cohesive and look coordinated all together. And I'm using this recollection papers here which came in a bundle and it's like 65 LB. You can use whatever cardstock you have. Uh, most of the times with the watercolors, I don't use the pattern paper. I mostly use the plain paper so that the card will enhance. Then here I just use the MFT uh, scallop dry uh, and then I just decided to add inside that uh, frame kind of thing pink around and then I thought this card needs more something it's not properly balanced so I decided to add more colors in this and you can do the same thing after completing your card also you can add many colors as many colors as you want just you have to be a little bit conscious while adding the colors and putting a little bit control on your hand and this particular uh, water palette I'm using here I bought it from Michaels This is company's artist love pearlescent watercolor pan set, 28 pieces. Uh, but you can use whatever you have in your stash. You don't have to use the same one, just to know. And if you want to see all the details of the cards and what supplies I use, you have to head over to my blog, uh, blog, where you can see all the stuff going on. Now, after adding this, now you can put this card as it is. But I decided to add more love sentiments, which I die cut out. Uh, and then I put the heart shaped die on it so there are kind of three hearts then for the next one I just add the all that uh, stripe one now here this is just a background I want to add something more on it so you can write it I decided to add the U so I cut out the U uh, sentiment form Simon says and this die cut out word is from Simon says and then I add a couple of times it with the shades of orange and yellows and then it kind of stack together and then I put together uh, it so you you don't have to use these dies you don't have to you can make it very simple by your handwriting also or you can put a sticker of like this but these are the really last minutes card you can put together in like 10 10 minutes or something like that and i hope you enjoy this today's video and if you would like to watch more such a videos let me know what you want to watch and i'll try to make that and thank you for all your support and love and uh, so make some valentine day cards at the last moment and until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye take care